When working on your CSV in Excel, you may want to do some advanced functions to get through some processes more quickly. We'll take you through some common Excel functions you could use. If you're creating your own product handles based on the product names, you'll know that you cannot have spaces in them. So you can use the find and replace tool to quickly remove a space. Oftentimes, you'll need to filter out products by a certain detail. For example, the end of winter is coming and we want to look at the prices for all of our winter merchandise to potentially edit them. We can filter all of our outerwear and be able to view these products specifically and make any necessary edits without being distracted by the many other products in our CSV. If you know you want to mark up all of your supply prices by a certain amount to create retail prices, you can use a function in Excel to help you calculate everything at once. So in this example, we have an original supply price, but we would like to add our percentage markup to work out a final retail price. So in the retail price column, I'll type in equals and then include the details of the cell that the supply price is located in. We'll add multiply and then in brackets, we'll put one plus and then whatever markup percentage we would like to add with the percentage icon and close the brackets. After pressing return, we'll be able to see that we have a 100% markup which is doubling the price of our product here. To edit it to whatever you would like, just make sure you edit the number in the brackets that's linked to the percentage icon and you can adjust everything accordingly. If you would like to manually create your own SKUs, you can easily do this with the click and drag function. I'd recommend to type out the first few SKUs and then highlight them and in the bottom corner, just drag them down to get them in a nice order. Creating products with duplicate SKUs can become very problematic and lead to inaccuracies with your products. It's always good to check and make sure that none of your SKUs are duplicated by using the conditional formatting tool. This is a great tool to check that you haven't accidentally created the same product twice. So you can see I've checked for duplicates and I've highlighted those duplicates with a red field or red background. And as I edit through these and change the SKU number, you can see that the red background is removed. And as we work through them and add new numbers, we'll then know that we don't have any more duplicates.